I think in this box I have a keyboard and if it is, then that should be the best keyboard I ever had. Yes, it is. Yeah, I ordered this keyboard for a while ago and really happy to see it delivered. I'm going for a trip. Nice. <laughs> and so I'm taking it with me and let's talk about copying code, copying other people with this. In Riga there are two coffee roasteries that I can recommend. One is Kalve, where I'm going, another one is Rocket Beans. Pasta de Nathas do that one, she does do that divas, yeah. And we are here on seaside for a few days and I'm working a bit, I'm working every day on my side projects and we're walking on beach, going into sauna, just, yeah, relax and work mix. Okay, back to copy pasting code. I'm not talking about copy pasting parts of the code in your application, which can be anti-pattern, but I'm talking about beginners, basically when you are just learning programming. Is it okay to copy paste code? In which cases it is good and in which cases that can hurt your career as a programmer. And yeah, if we are talking about patterns and anti-patterns, that's still fine to copy paste parts of your code to do not have too tight ups and so on. And sometimes that is just business pressure when you don't have time to make kind of smarter codes and just, I don't know, rise ticket for technical depth and copy paste and change whatever you need to change. Totally different discussion. Okay, but what's about copy-pasting when you are just starting? What about copy-pasting and I don't know if statement any second time when you need to write it? Well, that's not a big problem at all. I'm doing copy-pasting each day, every day, that's fine. You should not memorize code. Your main goal is to understand logic, concepts, principles, uh, all that stuff, not to remember how to write specific code, I don't know, specific functions and so on. But there is at least one if as well. In my opinion, you can run into problems into just copy-pasting other people's solutions. That's going to be a problem. For example, you are looking for solution, I don't know, A. You are opening Stack Overflow, looking, oh, here is solution. And you are grabbing it and using in your code. So you have your cup of tea, even if you are use it to take overflow so your your code works, your program is working. All is fine, right? Do I use Stack Overflow? Yes, I use very often. Not every day, but often. But what I would like to suggest you try to avoid getting that like a first reaction on problem. Do not jump on Stack Overflow, do not jump on Google to look for the problems. Those are nice tools to have, but at least try. <laughs> at least to try to come up with your solution for the problem. And then, yes, then it is always good to compare with other people's kind of solution for the same problem. Especially if you are kind of learning, that is always good to take a look and see how other peoples are solving the same problem. I'm still buying courses for programming. I'm still, for example, I like very much Sean Allen courses, hacking with Swift resource, that is kind of, I'm going often, very often there. I like to see how other developers, more experienced developers than me, solving the same problem. But I'm trying to avoid as much as possible to jumping on Stack Overflow first. And that is applicable to the app ideas as well. If you are trying to build in the indie apps like I do, that is, that is applicable as well. Do not try just copy paste other people apps. <laughs> I saw that 
not only once. I have multi I saw multiple copycats in the App Store, and that is just silly. That is my copycat app interface, and this one is my application. Basically, same colors and so on. And if you go deeper in those screens, basically they are absolutely the same. But that is a problem. So yeah, copycatting hurts you a lot because you are not making kind of new ideas. There is nothing bad if you are inspired by other apps. That's totally fine. Inspired by other apps, inspired by other by tutorials, whatever. I am basically doing the same, looking into the App Store, what I like in other apps and so on. But that's a little bit different, right? You are just looking, maybe you see, maybe you are using some application which kind of works for you, but you would like to have few more features in that application and that's totally fine to make your own version. There are so many <laughs> to-do applications, right? Because everyone has different needs, different requirements. Also being inspired by, I don't know, Dribble, that works as well. <laughs> being inspired by other, by tutorials, what you are using to learn something, also completely fine, absolutely fine. But just please do not take tutorial and publish that to the App Store as application. It doesn't work so. Using tutorial as a base for something, that's fine. For example, my, my free diving application, I implemented a few more transactions in the application and basically those transactions are inspired by design code application what I'm working right now on. Uh, habit tracking application, basically that is inspired by Sean Allen's widget tutorials. Do that. <laughs> And you will be able to keep those applications, those projects in your portfolio and show those as portfolio items. If you will just copy paste something that will not look nice in your portfolio. <laughs> Copycats always will be behind of the original creator of the product because they don't know yet what are good or bad parts of this, this product. They just only can copy what already exists and they always will be one step behind original creator. But original creator already know what is good and what is bad in the product and he's already ready to move forward, so <laughs> there is no way to win someone just by copycatting product. And also you are not adding any additional value to the market, to the customer, so that, that doesn't make sense to do that. For example, for my freediving application, I already know that the user interface is horrible, because it is back from 2017, what I developed then, <laughs> basically I used that. And I already updated that and released an update, but this copycat just copied my old DS, my old user interface, which already was horrible at the moment when they copied it. So, no hard feelings for the developer, he already removed the application from the App Store, I'm just talking about idea. So my main point here is do not try to copy other people's ideas or just copy-paste other people's code, because that kills your creativity. Okay, I have to catch up on my family, my wife and doggo, and, but yeah, do not try to memorize code. That's not a problem, you can always look for solutions, but just do not jump on copy-pasting code, copy-paste other solutions. And also, yeah, do not try to steal other people's ideas, copy other people's ideas, because if you are doing that, just copy-pasting solutions and copy-pasting products, product ideas, you're not coming up with your own solutions for problems, you're not coming up with your original ideas, and if you will try to keep copy-paste all the time someone, you will be in a problem when you will need to come up with solution to original problems. And if you can't solve original problems, you never will be successful. That was my TED talk about copy-pasting. <laughs> See you next one, bye. That's how you're doing so on. It's close to 60, could be good to get to 80, but it's way too long and then you... And after that you're going outside. Perfecto.